Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Tesla Grad with me, Atantuo. Let's try this, uh, what I is, can only assume is the actual final boss of the game. Like, one more time. So to dodge the crown you just walk under it, under it. You don't even need to teleport. Then he does that, takes his crown back. Then he appears here. The, hmm, how do I dodge that actually? It's just a, a matter of um, being. Oh, okay, that can can come from either side. Will he always? No, he will always teleport to the other side, apparently. So the question is, huh? Do I just need to teleport in the last possible second to evade that? Okay, I just run after, uh, run under this to make it go by as quickly as possible. Then the man appears and slashes his sword. Oh, he does not always teleport to the opposite side. Hmm. How does that work? Do I need to keep him from shooting? I mean, whatever he's using to fight me is not polarized, so it doesn't look like changing my polarity would do anything for me. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> that didn't work. I was hoping to maybe confuse him by changing my beam. Oh, well, I should also kind of dodge, maybe. Just maybe. I guess I'll... Oh, well, that didn't work. I will... I will, for now try to concentrate on dodging and see if maybe an obvious opportunity to uh, attack him will come up. Oh, so his attacks are... Oh, yeah, okay, I see the things moving underground. Okay, this will allow me to jump over him and hit him from behind. Nice. Now what I need to find out is... Oh. Okay. Um, how how exactly do I dodge that? So, um, okay, so he has different attacks that are each with uh, their own way to dodge, presumably. I still don't know how to dodge that uh, sword slash to the ground, that shockwave attack, basically. But I assume it's just a matter of timing. Oh, okay. So you got these things again. That's easy enough. Okay, yeah. It is just a timing thing. Yeah, that's actually easier than I made it out to be. Interesting. Okay, we got more of this. And this. Okay. Yeah. I guess that just counts it as one hit. What? How do I deal with this? What? This is just to... I guess this becomes quicker and quicker? What do I do? That didn't leave me any time to <laughs> to do anything but run away and, do and dash. At least that's what it felt like. I guess I should have done something else. Maybe I need to shoot him right away as he starts to prepare that attack? Okay, shockwave. Yeah, that's... I don't know why I couldn't dodge that before. It's actually really simple. Yeah. I must have just been dodging too early. Out of fear of getting hit. Okay. Hit him like that. No, no! Why can't I? Maybe I need to. Yeah, okay, it's so easy. I need to dodge behind him. For some reason, I didn't think I could. Oh my god. Oh, oh, those are just rotating swords. I was expecting those things to start shooting lasers for some reason. 
Okay, so those are rotating blades. Gotcha. Anyway, uh, yeah, for some reason I didn't... I just didn't think I could teleport through him, or rather that the... that sphere would just follow me and catch me regardless. So, now... It's also apparently random how many attacks he he uses before he becomes uh, vulnerable. So that's interesting and uh, not great. Okay, I'll just do that. That's actually super super easy. Okay, now freaking blades. Are these gonna be here forever now? Oh, no. Good. Okay. That's easy. Easy peasy. Sword slash. Gotcha. Oh, these things again? Okay. You can deal with that. Alright. Hover over and shoot him. Don't know how many hits that were. Like three? Four? Maybe? Okay, things are getting faster. <gasps> no! I teleported right into that. Oh god, how dumb. That was extremely stupid. Oh, well, this time that. That's unfortunate. I should really not die to things that are very easy to dodge. Like this crown. Yeah. Alright. Sword Slash, yes. Now I'm kind of afraid to die, start dying to that again at some point. Got the whatever, like um, magnetic fields or electric fields or whatever. Right, one hit. Now he should do his um, lightning sphere. Yes, so two hits. Uh, now the swords are gonna appear. Yeah, okay. Simple enough. Swords are gone. Shockwave. And another shockwave. Okay. And we're back to this. Third hit. Sphere. Fourth hit. So far, so good. Not a fan of this. Okay, okay. <gasps> no! Oh, really? I shouldn't have paid attention to the king in the background, I guess. I was expecting the blades to go sooner than they did. That was stupid. Not a good way to die. Alright. Shockwave. Another shockwave. Thanks for not using yet another attack. Teleport, attack. What now? Okay. Ah! No! was not necessary to, to teleport there at all. And for the crown, it's so easy. You just don't stand in the middle so you can start running left to right immediately. Alright. Mm. 
one and two, and thanks for giving me a timely opportunity to attack you. Okay, now we got these. <gasps> Why did I do that again? I thought I had established that I don't need to teleport to get away from the crown. In fact, it is extremely easy to avoid. Even with very limited room. In fact, okay. This is alright. It just takes a while longer than the... Oh. But there's only one phase of those, so... Or the possibility of there only being one phase, so that's good. Teleport. Attack. Okay. Stay here. Dodge. Teleport to the middle. Dodge. Dodge. Teleport through. Dodge away from the freaking blades. Okay. Another king phase should be simple. Shock waves. Thanks for doing this. So, fourth hit. Now the crown again. <gasps> Why? Why did I do that? Another phase of attacks. Okay. Ah, uh, well, that was bound to happen at some point. Here's dodge it like this. Teleport off. Dodge it like this. Dodge it like this. Oh, I don't teleport to the middle. <gasps> that was kind of close. Okay. Just messed up my timing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have four hits. Okay. <gasps> no! Why didn't it go off that time? Ah, uh, wait for the first hit over here. Get the second one uh, over there. No, I should. I wanted to teleport. I hit the button, but I guess it was a fraction of a second too late. Anyway, so crown, dodge over here, dodge over there. No, oh no, fuck it! God damn it! I feel like I have no time to react at all. I know it's just me being slow, but still. Everything else up to that point is really simple by now. The second crown phase can give me trouble, but seriously, it normally shouldn't. And it normally doesn't, so... But that third crown phase, I can only hope that it's gonna be the last one, because I have no idea how to handle it if that should turn out not to be the last one. Uh, even this is becoming easy-ish. Alright. Of course. And more shock waves, because why not? They look cool, I admit, but still. Is this really necessary? King. Alright. Stand here. Trigger. Teleport. Trigger. Okay. Well, that wasn't so hard. Shockwave, shockwave. These things. They're not becoming any faster, are they? 
Maybe they are. I don't know. Maybe he is becoming faster. And it's... it's... is it over? It's actually over. The crown is a portal to a demon dimension? <laughs> is that it? Oh my god. Ooh, wow. That was... kind of hard. Okay. Good thing I don't put that on my head immediately, but <laughs> that would be very, very dumb. Oh my god. Hello, cat. Hello, incredible riches. I cannot jump or move any faster than this, by the way. I can move around, though. <laughs> uh, do I crown the cat? No. Yeah, yeah. I get it. I don't have all 36 of them. But, um, actually... I mean, how many do I have? Not, not anywhere near. 1, 2, 3, 4... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm still missing 14. I know where two of them are that I couldn't get before. One of which I should be able to get. But I would obviously have to backtrack to where it is. But as for the other 12, I have no idea where they are even supposed to be. Yeah, throw that away. No one will ever find it in the woods. Ende. Really? That's, um... Is that Norwegian for end? Because it's German for end. So... That was that. that. I guess that wasn't the good ending. Maybe I could have saved the king, actually. Instead of, I don't know, banishing him. Demon dimension. Not wow. I mean, uh... It went better than I expected. <laughs> uh... Because I don't normally play puzzle games. I kind of like to uh, watch other people play these kinds of games, but I don't usually play them myself, let alone on camera, and I'm surprised it went as well as it did. Uh, as for the game itself, it, I think it, it's, it is it is ab absolutely gorgeous looking, first of all. Uh, the soundtrack is, is very, very, very good, uh, very solid. Some pieces, like the intro music and this is pretty neat as well. They, they're particularly good. Um, the level design, for the most part, is uh, very solid as well. It's a very good game, just overall. And uh, even though there were moments of uh, severe frustration for me, uh, it was a lot of fun overall, all things considered. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Rain Games, for making this, I guess. And thanks to all of you for watching this series. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please uh, consider hitting the like button, commenting, and subscribing to my channel, of course. Uh, I'll let the credits roll, and um, unless there's gonna be something interesting afterwards, uh, I say goodbye. Thanks again, and I will see you real soon. Have a wonderful time until then, and bye-bye.